Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how I did my shower install on my van. I'm du duplicating that in Patty's van. In the three van tours that I did, I received hundreds and thousands of comments. The majority of them were about my shower setup, was how they liked my shower. So what I want to do today is walk you through how I did it. Stick around to the end because this shower design is not for everyone. There are certain aspects of the shower that 100% would not work for some people. So let's get started. Let's get this shower installed and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. All right, so I'm working on the shower. This is a regular mop basin type shower base and you can see it's got a four inch but then it comes with this flange and then this is a three inch pipe that i put in there so that i could get a 90 out of there right below the shower you gotta know it is a gas tank so i will elbow this back to um, where the toilet is and I'm going to take it right out the floor. It's going to be a whole lot easier to do it that way than to work around the shower. You can see, so that's my three inch pipe. I've got a reducer from three inches down to two inches. Um, a piece of two inch PVC pipe that goes into this coupling. Is This is just to attach this to that that has got a threaded one and a half and that reduces down with another reducer right here and that takes it to the PEX. The PEX tubing is what will go out to the bottom of the van and over to the gray tank. So that is a lot of figuring a lot of reducing. I did the exact same setup in my shower. Zero problems. Let's get this installed. All right. Last step will be to join those together. So you can see I've got a three inch to three quarter inch taper. All right. So you got to build a frame so that there's no pressure at all on your plumbing system. All right, once you have it all framed out, let's get this installed. All right, I'm gonna feed this back down to you. That is work. Whew. That's what I need.
All right. That is a shower. Okay, so the shower base, um, I've got the front all screwed on. So that I screwed on so I can access the pipes if I need to. And then that will have a shaker frame around it. The lid is just a quarter an inch. And then you put a cushion on top of it. And then you have an ottoman for everyday use. When you want to take a shower, you take your cushion off. This comes up. It'll be on a hinge. And you have a shower. Put a uh, plant hanger on top of the ceiling, and that's where your shower curtain goes. And when you're not using it, you put it down in the basin. All right, so another thing I want to talk about is the water setup. How I've got the shower nozzle ran. So I've got my hot water heater underneath the sink. The hot water goes to the sink. I teed off of that. I just put a tee on and I put an adapter on. My shower nozzle just screws onto that adapter. And so all I had to do was buy two parts, a tee and an adapter to go to the shower. And I've got a hot water, I've got hot water going to the shower. It doesn't get easier than that when you're plumbing out a shower. So the shower nozzle is six foot long. I, I pull it out when I need to shower. It coils back up, hangs back underneath the sink whenever I'm not using it. It's got an on off button. It is the perfect setup. You just set your hot water heater to whatever temperature you like your shower. Nine minutes later, you've got a hot shower. So it honestly, like it, ju it doesn't get easier than that so I love that aspect of this shower setup for sure I want to share with you guys some of the things that aren't the best with this shower I'm five foot six when I stand in that shower I am maximum height if you are five seven you might be able to hunker down a little bit but if you're taller than that and you want to take a nice comfortable shower standing up this shower system will not work for you um if you can drop that shower base down three inches is the max that i could d drop it down without getting into the steel um then that would work for you it'll also work if you move it to a different location of the van and you can actually cut a three inch hole in the van and drop the entire drain system down that will buy you seven and a half more inches so um but anything over five foot six five foot seven you're about maxed out on this shower patty's five one so she's gonna have five you know five inches so she's gonna be good um the other thing is i get a lot of questions a couple questions does the shower curtain stick to you any shower in van life is small 24 by 24 is about max that's about what you get um, yes, the shower curtain, if you're showering and you're all the way up against the back, the shower curtain's going to stick to you just like it would in your home shower. So that is, you know, one of the drawbacks of this shower. I'm working on a design on this van where I've got a shower set, um, curtain. It stores in the base of the, um, um, shower. I want to get some little arms that I can fan out that will actually spread that shower curtain out a little bit and I think will help re get that shower curtain just give you a little bit more shower space so anyway if you're uh, so those are the drawbacks yes the shower curtain sticks to you just like any shower in van life um, the and the other thing is the height but you have to think about it this shower base a hundred percent of the time is an extra seat for someone it's 24 by 24 it's not a small seat it's a nice um ottoman area i spin around the front seat i elevate my feet i've got my lagoon table i've got a perfect workstation for the day um the other thing is is that a lot of people in van life they've got a shower it goes all the way up the wall and they store stuff in it. They've got everything thrown in there, which is great, which is a lot of storage. Um, and then they've got their toilet in there. That leaves you a really small cramped space for using your toilet. With this setup, I've got an extra ottoman here, 24 by 24, an extra ottoman here where my toilet is. So it really works out. I've got 
Now, spin around front seat. That's one seat. Spin around seat, or the um, shower basin. That's another seat. And then another seat back here. So, and then and then when we find a passenger seat. So ultimately, four places for people to comfortably hang out in the van because of this type of shower setup. So I love it. It works really good for me. There's nothing better than taking a hot shower when you can't warm up or coming down the mountain from a, a hike late at night. You're freezing cold. You're soaking wet. You're muddy. Um, you're, you've been, you know, mountain biking all day, you're a sweaty mess, and taking a nice shower inside the van where you can warm up the van, take a shower, it works out great. You just, you know, after you take a shower, let the shower curtain hang and dry for a little bit. It really doesn't take that long. It really dries fast. And because of this setup, you can flip the shower ring inside out. The shower, the wet part of the shower is now on the outside. You hang it up and it dries even faster. So anyway, so I wanted to share this shower setup with you. It really is a neat idea. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on a, something that I could do different to improve this, leave a comment below. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along on these builds. I'll see you on the next video.